20. It's Monday, November 19th. My friends are going again. So I filmed this whole video for you earlier today, and the the fan on the computer was on the whole time. I didn't think. Um, so that's what that mysterious sound is, and it's it's still on now. I'd like to talk to you about One Piece because it's one of those things that you still don't believe me that it's good. When in actuality, it's just so fantastic that I can't express to you how fantastic it is. So I'm going to try to do that now. I'm going to start with just one instance of One Piece's brilliance. What happens in the anime is that it starts in a different place from the manga. What happens is you start off on the ship and there's this cabin boy on the ship, right? The annoying, the annoying kid. I don't actually remember how much of One Piece I've forced you to see, but it probably involved this annoying kid named Kobe. Starts with Kobe and he's just the most annoying person <laughs> ever. But there's no one else there for you to relate to. So you know Doctor Who, right? In Doctor Who, you've got the Doctor who's all crazy and weird and eccentric and immortal and alien. So you always have a companion who is contemporary with the audience and relatively normal for the audience to relate to. And that's an essential part of the show because if you can't relate to someone then it's harder to care about what's going on and it's hard to understand what the doctor's going through and have a perspective on what the doctor's doing if you don't have that one normal person going, wait a minute, what's what's going on? What are you doing? Are you gonna kill that person? What's... what? So you start watching One Piece and the only one there is this annoying little snot rag. <laughs> and so you're like, what am I watching? I hate this show. Who is this person? I don't care about this stupid little person. And then Luffy shows up, right? But Luffy is not relatable, okay? Luffy in this situation is the doctor. He's that crazy guy who shows up one day and just turns everything upside down. Kobe is stuck on this boat, right? Because he doesn't want to die. So he's a slave to these pirates because if he tries to run away, they'll kill him. So he's stuck there, right? Which is really a perfectly reasonable thing to be doing. And then Luffy shows up. And he says, you're pretty stupid and useless, and you seem kind of wimpy, too. I don't like you. <laughs> and then he laughs at him, of course. And then he says, I'm not afraid of dying, because it's my dream. I have to try. I don't mind dying. So obviously that's a bit of an eccentric stance to take. But it makes sense. Luffy just makes sense and Kobe doesn't. But most of us live a Kobe-ish existence. And so the anime, it just, you, you start to relate to this obnoxious little person against, against your own will, really, because he's so obnoxious. And then Luffy shows up and he's just like, I don't like you. And you sit there and you're like, I don't like him either. And so then you just sit there and you're like, well then, why am I like him if I don't like him? I'll see you egg your face tomorrow.